What is going on, everybody? Lou and Mary here from the Long Island Dash Experience. Today is Saturday, June 4th, and we're going to be going up about three and a half to four hours. Uh, we're doing an afternoon shift today. So, uh, as always, Mary gets to start off with our goal. 99.99. 99.99. We're trying to trick it, but it's really 100, but we're going to say 99.99. No, it's 99.99. That's how they do it in the stores. So. Exactly. Yep. So, we'll see what happens. Going to fire up the apps and get the ball rolling. I got, I, I got IHOP. IHOP on Uber to start us off. The crappy, annoying IHOP, but it's $7.76 for 2.7 miles. So we'll start off with IHOP. Hi, I'm uh, picking up Uber for uh, CJW. CJ. Awesome. Thanks so much. Have a, Have a great day. night. Great day. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what time it is. <laughs> Can you feel the what? love tonight? Like wait, wait, you're in the wrong car. My mistake. What? You're in the wrong car. No, this is great. No, I mean, I'm in the wrong car. I don't know. What the heck? Ha like, are they okay? And they were busy in there. Are they feeling okay in What's there? What's going on? When they're, busy, when they're busy, it's ready. When they have nobody in there, it's not ready. Figure that one out. Yeah. Should we go play the lotto right now, Mary? Yes. IHOP was ready. Like, he walked over to the table and I saw a bag. So I was like, let the, one of those be my bag. And it was, and like I seriously celebrated inside my head. You went, celebrate good times, come Ex on. That's exactly what I did, 100%. I'm gonna leave this at his door. What did he get? Did he get the uh, Did he get the thing we normally get? The Take You gotta get the party, the, the, um, the, party. the family, the family yeah. pack. Yeah, no, let's no. say. Did he get it? No, they got the original French toast and the new deluxe three cheese and bacon, which oh. is uh, basically um, three cheeses right and bacon? Pretty much. Just bacon? No, cheese on top? It's uh pan and pancakes. Ew, is it, there it must be no nah, it must be uh eggs. Stay in the left two lanes. It must be an omelet. Bingo. Oh, and then pancakes on the side, probably. Yeah. You took oh. something? Yeah, I did. C V S on Little Lee Snack. Um let's see, seven items. It was thirteen dollars and change. Let's see what it is. Shampoo and conditioner bundle. Shampoo and conditioner bundle. Oh, somebody needs lots of shampoos. Uh maxi pads. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Toothpaste. Oh. A bunch of different toothpastes. Oh, trying them all out. Yep. And uh, some more shampoo. So shampoo, basically shampoo and toothpaste. That's that's weird. But that's good because that's like three aisles. Yeah, it's three aisles plus like we're going to be right by the CVS. It's the CVS over on Little East Snack. Yeah, perfect. Um, and it's 0 0.9 miles from that CVS. So this is an amazing order. $13.31. Amazing. I wish yeah. I knew what that smell was. It's going to bother me all day long. Yeah. It smells like wet clothes. That's what it smells like. That's nasty. Nah, to me it smells like... To me it smells like wet clothes. I don't know what it smells like. It's actually just, giving me like a headache. It just smells like unpleasant. Ew. They're just god awful today, aren't These they? These are the type of add-ons that Uber gives you. $3.29 for 5.1 miles. As you're going to drop off your order, that's what Uber always does. And they're trying to trick you into yeah. clicking. Yeah, they send you these really terrible orders while you're trying to do drop-offs all the time it's embarrassing not only is it embarrassing but it's dangerous because if you're driving by yourself and that crap keeps on popping up it's like just don't do it there really should be honestly these apps really should have a way for safety precautions to opt into not receiving orders like add-on orders, yeah. add -on orders while you're driving to a drop-off because it's hard enough finding some of these houses but then when you have the thing popping up with you in orders while you're trying to find a house drive you're gonna end up running over a kid you know, it's 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 not safe, and these apps they they don't care about safety. They don't care if some drivers or or you know get into accidents or hurt themselves seriously. They just want to keep chucking these orders out while they know you're driving and looking for things in there. You know, so you can have no eyes on the road. Pure evil. Yeah, here's another one. Golden Crust, four dollars ninety-four cents for ten point one miles. Let me do my drop off. I got you. I think I, we've delivered to I this house before. I got your iHop. Yeah, we might have. I got your freaking iHop. Okay, now stop with this, Uber. Stop. Here, here's another one. $3.72, 4.7 miles. Can I do my drop off, Uber? Nope. They're gonna make sure you accidentally click. Yeah. This is uh, Gismondi A. This is their 224th order. So that's good. Means they know what they're <laughs> they, doing. They order. Every day, <laughs> yeah, pretty day. much every day. So hopefully this one goes a lot better than our last CVS order that mm -hmm. we did. Yeah, new car smell is gone. Yeah, whatever that, whatever that is, killed it. It's a dead car smell. Something ca crawling.
in your car and die? Is this shampoo? Herbal essence. No. This, but like a... Another box? No, yeah. Except and it's, it's gold? gold. Well, you think it would have been here, right? But yeah, it would doesn't look like there's any place for a box unless it would be down there. And it would be nine seventy nine. so... Yeah, I don't think they have that. I'm looking for the other one. It's Shea Moisturizer. What's the... Shea Butter Deep Moisturizer? What's the brand? Shea Moisturizer. Shea Moisturizer. It's not this, right? No. Oh, but that's the that's the brand, Shea Moisturizer, but not this. It's deep moisturizing. Oh wait, is that is that deep moisturizing shampoo? Good job. Well, don't 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 say so yet. Let's make sure. Yep. Good job, man. More <laughs> with the moisturizer. I don't think they have. Oh, these are mouthwashes. They're not toothpastes. Te toothpastes. Oh, oh the mouthwash. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, yeah, they get toothpaste. Well, yeah, but mouthwash and toothpaste. Two different things. Um, and maxi pads. Did they have a replacement for that? Refund. Wants a refund. Okay. Annoying. Right. We're just let's make sure. Yeah. And stuffing up behind those boxes. That's what. I was no, I looked. This. This. It's there's only two, and it's the same exact one. We could ask somebody, somebody here if they. If yeah. Seen before, it for we, you, before we. Okay. Uh, let's go. Refund it. Because it seemed weird. Like, it doesn't seem like there's even a spot for it. Yeah. Stay free. Stay free. It's stay free down there. It doesn't like but it's a bigger, free. it's a jumbo pack. Yeah, they're out of it. Stay free. What about this one down here? Is that stay free? No. Oh. That's always. She, yeah, she'll replace it with this. 28 count, right? When it's a star? Uh, yeah, that's her request. Okay. So it's this, this one? one. I'm holding? No, it's 28 count. I think it's this. Oh, this is 33. I'm not, I'm not much of an expert on maxi one. pads. Yeah, that's why you don't, yeah. don't touch them. Well, I have to. I'm holding it. <laughs> you can put it in the basket. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can put it in the basket. Toothpaste. Yep. Ah. Okay, so we need Colgate. Colgate. Okay, total 16 ounce. Okay, and then we need. Oh, they need the big and the baby. So weird. That's the same thing, right? Yeah. Just two different sizes. Why would they do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. What is the story here? Okay, then we have the optic white. Stain fighter. Optic white stain, stain fighter. fighter. 4.2 ounce. Thank you very, very much. All right. Cool. So we just have to ask about that. Excuse me? Um, I'm looking for this item, this item here. Um, I didn't see it over there with the with the shampoos. But I don't know if maybe you have any others in the back or maybe I'm just missing it. No, it's usually right here. We don't have any. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, no problem. I guess we just have to deal with that machine. That's it then. That was good. It was supposed to take us 15 minutes. It only took us six and change. That's how you do it. Yeah, it's like, it's like Uber cares about this. Uber cares about you taking a picture of yourself and make sure you're not driving to take a picture of yourself. But they'll, but they'll send you, they'll, they'll like rapid fire you freaking orders when you're trying to do a drop off and trying to find houses. Yeah. Come on, Uber. You hypocrites. And now all of a sudden they let me go online because now they don't care. <laughs> now they really don't care. They're like, oh, we need to send you. Uh, yeah, hang on. Yeah, disgusting hang on. offers. Yeah, hang on. I got this so, three dollars for ten miles. We're gonna send you. Yeah, hang on. Right, bunch of Back door, please. Please do not put groceries up against the door. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. That seems logical, but you know there are people who are going. To, imagine that. Like it's bad enough, like somebody puts like your delivery food, but putting all the groceries in front of the door. Yeah. Infuriating. So the order ended up being $12.20 okay. uh, since they didn't have that item. Hate that. But yeah, but it's still good. No, I it's still good. It's just still, it's annoying. Yeah, annoying. It's annoying that you lose How much was it originally? Money. I think it was like $13.07. Yeah. It's just still annoying that you lose money. But it money. was because of the tip. Yeah. Dollar General. $18, 4.4 miles, 16 items. Dollar General. $18, yeah, 4.4 miles, 16 items. I this guess one so. here? You know, we'll do that and then we'll and then we'll get. Yeah. All right. I can't really We're, tell for whatever reason, we, but we, I'll accept it and then we, hopefully. We might throw up. Yes. Yes, the one over here. <laughs> we were just talking into the going to tropical smoothie. But hey, listen, you get an eighteen dollar what are we getting here? Eighteen dollars, four point four miles, sixteen items, teriyaki chicken noodle soup, a couple of those, a couple of chow mein chicken flavor noodle soup. Uh, some ramen, a uh, little Debbie snack cakes. Yeah, it's all like snacks and Funyuns, chocolate looks like Kit Kats. Oh yeah, sweet tarts, Snickers stuff. 
Dollar General sour gummies. I didn't know Dollar General had their own brand. I guess so. It's kind of scary. The Pixar fruit snack candies. Interesting. Mountain Dew soda bottle. Starburst sugar drink mix. And the Skittles sugar drink mix. Oh, ew. Variety pack thing. That's, All right, it's a pretty big order. That sounds disgusting. This is a pretty big uh, Dollar General order. We're going to need a shopping cart there, for this w- one. Was there a tip on this one? Curious about that. Yeah, yeah okay. They did a $7 okay. tip. So, solid job. Seven, $7 tip. Thank you to Par. All right, so a great order. I mean, it might be a little annoying, but... I'm trying not to say annoying. Yeah, Dollar General, <laughs> you know. So there was Funyuns, right? Six ounce. That's six ounce. Oh, those so are like... Oh, they're like little... They're like juice boxes in a way? Yeah, they're like little like things that you put in the water. Oh, 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 like the like the Crystal Delight stuff in a way. Yeah. Were there any drinks that were in the refrigerator? I think there was, right? There was a Mountain Dew or something. There's a Mountain Dew, but it's a liter. Oh, so it's probably for a little further down. Yeah. I just want to one, right? How do you know? Uh, yeah, one X. See right before the name. Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you think the juice things would be? Those, the, the little things? Yeah. Might be over the, the candy stuff. The next aisle. Definitely not down this aisle, right? Yeah. Anyway. Is there cereal? Did you say there was cereal? Oh. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I don't like how it, like, it doesn't get rid of it. Oh. It gets rid of it once you, like, finish that category. Oh, okay. So I need two of these. And then... Oh, I don't like so This? Um... Teriyaki chicken? No. Oh, wait. There's another one. Hold on. Teriyaki chicken times two. Okay, so they want that, but in a chow mein chicken. Don't another have it. Out. Un- item unavailable? Do uh, I should that? I ask him if he, yeah. they have it? I'll also ask him what those other things are. Oh, he went that Lou. What? He went that way. Oh, he went that way. You're on the hunt. Can I ask you, ask you um, these here, you wouldn't happen, happen to have any of these in the back, would you? You're no. all out over there. Yeah, whatever we have on yeah. Okay, and also, um, where the heck can I find these things? The, um, oh, they're going to be right over here. Oh, awesome. Thank oh. you. Yep. Coming. Okay, yeah, they're over here. Oh, okay. Uh, he doesn't have, uh, they're, they're out of this. So. Okay, so what does it say? Uh, item unavailable, notified the customer. All right. All right, so they, they sent that, I mean, that, that automatically sends? Yeah, and the right, customer will respond if they do. There, it's down the next aisle? Next aisle. Okay, but there's candies. Things. That's the uh, Oh, it's drink also a drink. Thing. Okay. Yeah. All right, so now we need Pixar. Pixar. Oh, those are fruit snacks. Oh. Are they over there? Oh, the cart. Oh, I thought you were taking it. <laughs> You're in charge of the cart. <laughs> Fruit snack candy. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> that was my foot. I don't think they have them. Is anyone a spot for them? The fruit snacks? Well, they, they would, this is where they would be, because this is where the, the gummy stuff is. And these are here. Yeah, he says anything that's not on the shelf is just not, they don't have it. They didn't even have a spot for it. Because these are fruit snacks. It right. would be like here. Hey, let's, let's look around. So yeah. Maybe it's just in a different spot. Yeah. So we're looking for Starburst. Yeah, Starburst. That's so weird. I know. We've known things like this. And then we're looking for Skittles. Uh, Skittles, I do not Skittles. see. Yep. No, yeah. They're out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if they never respond to anything, then you know, we just refund them. Oh, obviously. substitute submitted. Oh, nice. Two oh, more two more those. of those or two more of those? Well, which one do you want? Or do you want these? You know, we'll give them a variety. Yeah, give them something different at least. It's so weird how that just shows up. Oh. oh. Yeah, when it's a, when it's a substitute, they no scanning. Because they've already approved it. Yeah. Or All right. So. Because. Oh, cool. That moved away. Oh, we have to get the little Debbie. So let's go straight ahead. Because the. Oh, did I? Uh, tell me oh, about the Skittles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I already did it. Okay. And. Oh yeah, just candy. So little, little Debbie's. Straight ahead. Um, well, let's do the candy. Okay. Oh, I see little Debbie's are over there. Dollar Tree gummies. Dollar, sour gummies. Sour gummies. Sour drops, no. Sour watermelon wedges. It's like a game. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, no, right. game. Oh, I love this game. It's not sour drops, right? No, it's sour. It looks like it has the Kool-Aid guy in it. Oh, okay. But they're sour. So it's like these, but like sour. Oh. Am I sending? Uh, yeah, I'm just making sure it's nothing like hiding. It doesn't look like it. Yep. Oh wait, what are those? 
I know there's a unicorn gummies. Mm. All right, sour gummies, item unavailable. Text customer? Uh, yeah. It's not working. Typical. Uh, I'm just gonna shut the door dash off and turn it back on. Picture. Oh, we're looking for the M&M, peanut M&M, like that, like an assortment pack. It's like that, mm. but... This is the one that's outside. <laughs> the sour neon gummies. Okay. Where, do, where was that? Sour neon gummies? What did you say? Sour neon gummies? Oh. So... So we go to that. Yep. Item unavailable. Um, just do text customer. Now go back. Now do add substitute. Yep. It's so stupid to make sure you go back into the text customer. Yeah. Thing. Okay. So we're looking for... It's not this, right? There's nothing up top, right? Oh wait, what is it? What's that? Oh no, that's that. Yeah. We're also looking for the sweet tarts. Sweet tarts. That looks like a box, no? Yeah. And we're looking for. Oh, that might be up front. Those might be up front. Yeah. Oh, seven miles. No. Yeah, we're gonna stop. We're busy. It's... Oh, oh, here we go. Oh. Goodness. I found that, it behind the three that musketeers. Was like such luck. I saw I saw something yellow behind those three musketeers. <laughs> this happened to be it. That was very Good lucky. find. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I can't play where I saw Oh, that. um zebra the zebra cakes. They should be here. Zebra cakes. It really is like a, a scavenger hunt uh, at this place. <laughs> Definitely no zebra cakes over here. They, they should be right there, because that's all the little Debbie stuff. Yeah, so what, what does he have for that one for una, unavailable? Text. Okay. All right, where are we at? What was that? Where, where are we at? Still waiting on substitution for the Skittles. Oh, and this, we didn't... Let's just look over here. Oh, the fruit snacks. Yeah, no, fruit snacks aren't here. Okay, item unavailable. Ugh. All right, go back over there. This sucks. The fruit snacks are... Yeah, there. That's the, that's the section. Oh. Found the sweet tart. He says, let me get yodels instead and refund the Pixar gummies. Okay. Uh, so these are the Pixar gummies, right? Yeah. So issue refund for those. Yeah, um, I got this. Sweet tarts. And he said... Uh, the... Okay, that's over here. Yodels. Yodels. That was instead of. Well, does he want? Ah, does he want yodels or does he want the sweet rolls? He said yodels. Okay, so let me get yodels. So that's for these. And then we'll text customer. Click back. Add substitution. Scan barcode. Add item. All right. So what else we got here? Uh, we got the Kit Kats. I think that's a front. Let me see. Yeah. That we substituted. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That we. Oh, he didn't say anything about this. Did he say anything about it? Mm, let me double check his messages, make sure we didn't miss anything. Oh, that might have been when it was glitching. So it might have not sent him a text that it was not available. Um, I don't think it sent a text. That, that's when it started glitching. Yeah. There, oh yeah, this one doesn't send a text for whatever reason. Uh, so let's see, Skittles. So the, it's in that the area? next aisle. I think that's just like wrong in all. <laughs> what was that? In all, anything. Yeah. Like, that was so tricky. No, 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 I just think it's wrong with these, these things. This whole section. Like you're supposed to drink water because it's healthy and then yeah. you're putting a little bit of sugar in right. there. Don't judge me. All right. My camera has gone a little silent here. Um, the okay. Kit Kats, something. What do you say? Oh, yeah. you read it? The Kit Kats? We, I think are up front because that's like a single pack. Yeah, that's like a king size bar. Which, which yeah. one is it? Kit Kat individual wrapped three ounce king size bar. And go see if they're yeah, while I wait for him. They're there. Okay, you, they have it? Okay, cool. I just can't get to them. He wants a refund for that. So Skittles, refund. Just one of these? Hi. Sorry, one second. I apologize. Great. Can you on one? Uh, yeah, please. please. It's a DoorDash order. All right, cool. Boom. All right. 
Hey, at least he was responsive. Thank goodness for responsive customers when nothing's in stock. <laughs> so when did we take that screenshot? Because it felt like we, it felt like despite the fact that nothing was in stock, it felt like we moved pretty quickly there. Um, it had to be like at like 12. Uh, we took it at 12.04. By the way, it's 18 bucks, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only annoying thing about the order is 13 minutes ago, three miles. But yeah. why would we go up East Side? Why don't we go up Summer's Highway? Yeah. Because that'll cut off a lot of time. Well, either slow or and also just some really bad orders that are coming in. Mm -hmm. Really bad orders are coming in. Nobody's tipping. Comment below. What do you guys think with the state of how things are going with the economy? Everything's getting a lot more expensive now. Do you think it's going to be a lot that much tougher to get some good orders and people are going to be tip, tipping even less? I mean, these are the orders we're getting. $5.69, 5.7 miles. Just terrible. Things aren't, you know... Is, is this going to be the case, you know, for a while now? Now that people actually... Realize they can't afford anything. Mm. We're actually going to be going out. Well, I'm going to be going out more, doing more deliveries to make a little extra money just to um, balance things out. What are you guys doing uh, to adjust as prices of groceries and gas and everything else start to inflate mm -hmm. and life gets more expensive as we are, I guess, potentially heading into a recession? Or maybe when you see this video, we may be already there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Comment below. There you go. What's that? McDonald's. Nine dollars twenty three cents, two point six miles. Wait around long enough, decline enough orders, eventually get something good. Hi, uh picking up uh E9B. Uh, right what was that? Right Great, thanks. Okay. Thank you. That woman that woman just saw walk out, she was on the drive thru, she's like, Can I teach can I talk to a manager please? She's like, my my, uh, I was just on the drive-thru and my bag was missing two cheeseburgers. Like, oh. So here's the thing with this McDonald's that a listen I observed here. They're terrible. Well, yeah. But with this whole two drive-thru thing, Turn right on, on top it's a major problem. Well, like now it's a problem because I can't get through. Well, they have all this thing. Yeah. And then now they have the landscapers here. Like. Yeah. But, but the issue is these two lines merge here. Right. And become one line. Right. So the issue is, is that no, if they merge at the same time, which is what happened to us the other night, they have no idea who you are. They don't know right. what your order is. And are they confirming at the window? They aren't. They, like, uh, we got up to the one line and the guy said, you got the this, 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 this. And I was like, no, that's not us. He goes, oh. And he tried to figure out what our order was. Yeah, but they, but they, they should be, that should be the first step. Right. Are, are you getting this 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 right but then the best part was then we get to the second window which is the window where you actually get the stuff and she just without even asking goes to hand me a coffee i was like yeah we didn't order no coffee because uh, that was the other one again you yeah. should be confirming so the whole two line thing does absolutely nothing unless you're confirming right i'm sure other mcdonald's, McDonald's have, have it right yeah you have to actually you should test it out you should go to the one in um on Lind um on Sunrise Highway and test it out because yeah. they have the double. Right. But I don't understand what the purpose of the double is. They already don't have enough employees. Now we're going to have two drive through lines? Is it so it, the, it, doesn't, it doesn't congest back? Yeah, that, that's yeah. the only reason why I can see it. So yeah, it doesn't congest back into the street. So they have two lines. Right, but if you're not but there's doing also, things put the proper way. Right. And there's no, and also there's no order to the merging between right. those two lines once they merge into one. It's right. just really confusing. Right. Unless they're taking one order, then they go to the window, take another order. Right. They take, yeah. But in this case, it was but, us and the other person both started. But then, but then what if the other line goes, has a bigger car? So it, yeah. Yeah. It's, I, I get the idea, like you said, but I still think it's chaos. Yeah. Um, we were talking the other day uh, because in San Francisco now they're allowing for passengers after 12 midnight till about 4 a.m. to actually be passengers in autonomous uh, taxis. I was thinking about it and possibly one of the positives about having these autonomous vehicles is there would be less accidents because most accidents are caused by, by human error. But still the question mark becomes about it is will the gps get you into the right locate what get you into the right location what i would 
you were saying that it, it it's only going to go like 30 miles an hour. So it's only going to go so, 30 miles an hour. These particular taxis. So in San it's going to be going during like the nighttime when most drunk drivers are driving. Right. They they're gonna they're gonna crash into this thing. That, that, you know that that's a very good point because they're only driving 30 miles an hour. Yeah, and like or somebody who has road rage, they're gonna be like mm-hmm. road raging on this this right this driverless car with these poor people in it. Yeah, you know, right, right. that have no control. Right, right, exactly. Now, I did think it was interesting from the video I saw. I, I recently watched a video on YouTube about a guy um, who called one of these, uh, who was testing it out. That the the, uh, the company is called uh, Cruise. Yeah, so Cruise. So apparently, like when you call the, these taxis. Uh, you actually, when you, once you get into the car, you press a button to let you know, let them know you're in the car and that the car can now drive. But here was another interesting point I saw in one of the other videos on just, I watched a video on how like automated cars actually would work and are supposed to work is what happens when there's an unavoidable accident. Mm-hmm. Now the vehicle has to make a decision on whose life is going to be in danger. The pedestrian, but like, let's say Let's say that there's a hazard and you're going to run into a pedestrian. Mm-hmm. So you have two choices. Run into a pedestrian or crash into a wall. Right. Whose life do you put at risk? The pedestrian or the passenger? Mm. That's a tough choice. <laughs> like, the machine has to make the... Do, do you just, like, in the app, be like, uh, be like, um, yeah, yeah, I put my life at risk. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we and, don't. We forget the pedestrian. Put put my life at and risk. And are there people watching the car? Like, is like, like how? What are the logistics? What's the matter with this thing? What's all that churning and bubbling? You call that a radar screen? Like, is there like one person for each specific car? Oh, am I supposed to turn here? Yeah. There, would there, be nice there, if she there should me. be. And this isn't a street. Right. So what? Where am I going? Oh. Is this a street? Hold, hold that thought. Yeah, well, this is the oh, street we're going down. Yeah. But. Yeah. A uh, waiting car. Apartment oh. 175 CMJ lighting. Oh, okay. Oh, dropping over to business. Hold that thought. It's always interesting when it's a Saturday and we're delivering to a business, yeah. Business, and there's like cop cars and a whole bunch of cop cars and what the heck is going on? Oh, I guess I'll call him. Hopefully, he's not getting arrested. Oh, it's it's no, it's the the place where they service the cop cars. Oh, okay. Okay, We're okay. It's still waiting car. Oh, sorry. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, John I. Hello? Hi, this is uh, Lou from Uber Eats. Uh, I'm in the parking lot. The directions uh, are waiting where car. Where are you? Uh, oh, I'm looking okay, at... I see you. Yeah, wait, a cop car. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that works out. What was that? I didn't even see you pulling. Oh, uh, yeah, no problem. Oh, here it goes, Uber. They love doing this. Stop Uber. All they do is they give you terrible offers while you're trying to drop off orders. Right, have a good one. Have a good one. So it's so like the real question is like, would you feel safe being in an autonomous vehicle? No. Hell no. No. Yeah, I I don't know. I see. It's real. It's 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 really difficult because on one hand, you want to think like, okay, it's only driving so fast. Well, it's not going to hour. make. Let, let's yeah. let's go thirty miles an hour. Yeah. See how fast that is. All right. All right. We're gonna drive thirty miles an hour right now. I'm not there yet. Oh, out back. All right, so this is 30 miles an hour. This is pretty slow. That's pretty slow. And are there sensors around the car that detect, like, things within a, a yeah. radius? Yeah, like, yeah like, there are. Okay. So if a person does walk... We're going out they'll back, sen- by the way. The, yeah. They'll sense the person, right? That's, that's, yeah, right. The, that's what it's supposed to do? Right, that's what it's supposed to do. And it's supposed to then stop. But if the car malfunctions, like we just had the situation with the Teslas, that all of these Teslas stopped, just stopped short pretty much at the same time, even people were driving like 60 miles an hour. And eventually the cars are going to go faster than 30 miles an hour, I would think. I would hope so, because if they didn't go faster than 30 miles an hour, why would you ever want to take one? Right. Like you're never going to get where you want to go. You would just take one just for the experience. So I don't know, comment below, would you guys feel safe driving in an automated vehicle? where there's literally no driver, no no fail safe. And is that a good thing or a bad thing? What do you guys think? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? 99% of accidents are caused by human error. Are robotic cars, you know, the thing of the future and what is going to save more lives maybe because of how many fatal car accidents there are? So is this a, is this a good thing for the future? Or even though humans are such bad drivers, it's still better that humans are driving cars over AI.
you know, would we want to be, here's a question is, cause I was kind of making the comparison when I was talking to Alyssa about this. Would we want AI flying an airplane? Even those like drones and stuff, they're they're manned by. I mean, they're not. No one's in them, but they're manned by a person. Right. So that's my that that goes back to my question: Is there somebody watching over them? I mean, there should be. There should be. There there, there should be some kind of control center where people are are watching them. Right, monitoring it. Yeah, I think it's interesting. I'm still kind of like I'm still personally I'm kind of torn on the situation. I'm still t- torn on the idea. I want to say like this is a great idea and maybe it is a great idea maybe you know like change like like we always have difficulty with change mm-hmm. I know anytime at work and I'm sure you feel this way too whenever they change the system and every time they change the system you're like why everything was working fine why did mm-hmm. we change the system and you're annoyed and then eventually you get used to the new system right this is this is the same thing in a way but there are a lot of bad drivers, and just to like make a comparison again with the air with, with airplanes, there probably are not many bad pilots that are pilot, no, because that they're are flying commercial airplanes. They're constantly tested and trained. Re- yeah. Like my one of my coworkers, her husband is a pilot, and he's constantly going for training. Mm-hmm. It's like every six months, she's like, "Oh yeah, he went for more training again." Yeah. But- so they're constantly learning and 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 retraining and mm-hmm. re recertifying, like. And it's not like a yearly thing. It's right. a constant thing. And for vehicles, you're trained once, you get your license once, and then that's it. Mm-hmm. So an automated vehicle, you're not dealing with that. Mm-mm. You're dealing with a vehicle that you just have to hope that it d- doesn't malfunction. Right. And now that like it's happening now and people now in San Francisco can order these vehicles to pick them up and drop them off. That's it's a legit thing. It's happening now. Things just got real because mm-hmm. it's 2022, and we're probably way ahead of probably where we should be. Hi, Hi. Uh, picking up a Heidi C Uber. There you go. Awesome. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. The other good thing though about the automated cars is el- elderly would be able to get places. What old, do you mean? old people. Why wouldn't they be able to get... That can't drive. They, they're just not capable of driving anymore. Yeah, but they could just call an Uber and have a person help them in and out of the car. Who's going to help them in and out of the car? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe just their eyesight's bad. Maybe no, no, no. There's nothing yeah. good about like my the dad. Elder- like my like dad. the elderly going into the car. That would have been perfect for my dad. You know? He can get in the car. I just... You can't see if, you know, no, the car because, in front of them is... No, the, 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 because old people want to talk to people. They don't want to go in a car that there's no one there. With. My, my dad totally would have been happy to talk to that computer. He'd have been talking to it. No, what I'm saying is they want to talk to people. Yeah, that's true. That's a good order, by the way. I didn't even tell you what this order was. You don't even know what we're doing. I know we're doing Outback. That's it. That's all you know. Uh, it was $11.25. Oh, so possible? Yeah, yeah for uh, 5.3 miles. Possible hidden tip? Yup. You didn't even know. Up at the meet at the door. People want to see me today. No. They're excited. No, I'm not to see you. They're excited. They're fired up. No. No oh, lies. Lies. Uh, McDonald's, six dollars fifty cents, two point six miles. McDonald's over here. If we drop it off, we could be in position to pick this up. Um. Yeah, because it's still further that way. Yeah. That's what I think that next. How's it going? Hi. I lost my zipper. Oh. There, we go. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Great. Thank Have a you great so day. much. You too. Second different McDonald's. Uh oh. We're in McDonald's trifecta territory. But both Ubers, right? Both Ubers, yeah. Uh, That's okay. Could, trifecta is also. Couldn't have, we couldn't have a try try. Couldn't have a try try. Because Grubhub hasn't, hasn't even uh, woken up from. It, it's sleeping in on Saturday. Yeah. Sleeping in. There's Uber here. Zero zero A. Great, thanks so much. You too. See, this is even going faster than the autonomous car would be going. <laughs> right. <laughs> and yeah. I feel like we're going so slow. Think about like. Like it's like if you're in there, just know it's gonna take you a while to get home. Yeah. Get this car going any faster than this. Think about. But isn't it only in like a certain radius too that it's that it's doing it? Yeah, it's only in a certain radius. So it's gonna be a short mileage stuff, I'm sure. 
but like think about that like think about like you're, you're behind an, an autonomous car uh that's going 30 miles an hour like you're just driving around it so now what that now car needs to change lanes and people are just driving around it and they can never change lanes so then it crashes into a car i still think the best though was um was the video that steve had on his his channel oh with the cops pulling it over yeah i'm gonna put a link in the uh description below and then it just like drove away. yeah Check out um, Steve uh, Rightshare Rodeo That's posted a video terrible. of an autonomous car running away from police. Uh, definitely have to check out this video. It's really yeah, funny. And I, I I haven't watched the podcast yet, but I'll go back. I'm gonna I want to go back and watch it. And but why weren't the authorities? I think they were talking about this. Why weren't the no, the authorities notified about like that these were being rolled out? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Leave that door. If you could leave the food on the. T- trying to read uber jesus come on i'm trying to read this oh, wait. if you could leave the food on the top of the soup that'd be great thank you no you're gonna leave it on the bottom yeah i'm gonna leave it on the i'm gonna leave it on the car <laughs> With the guy dancing on it yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> Irvings. Irvings. All right. Yeah, we're gonna be driving towards it. All right. Irvings. Yeah. Where would you like to go? Irvings. Getting directions to Irving. Now. <laughs> Where would you like to go? One eighty Merritts Road, oh. South Farmingdale. Oh, yeah. Getting directions to one eighty Merritts Road, Farmingdale. So this order, this order came in as. Seven dollars and twenty-five cents for two point eight miles. What's Paris saying? Yeah, let me see what Paris says. Seven items. Uh, Paris saying four dollar tip, but Paris doesn't have a star, so this is definitely one I could have a hidden tip. I don't know what the hell Irving's is. Let's see what this is. What is Irving's? Seven items. Is this our first DoorDash? No, no, we did a Dollar General. Oh, that's right. Uh, it's a bottled soda, a Dr. Brown's, kids' chicken strips, homemade hand cut French fries. Homemade onion rings and two X of angry. At the light, turn right onto They're just angry. Road. What the hell is this place? Have you ever heard of this? Never. What the hell is Irving's? All right, we're gonna find a new place. We have no idea what this is. I assume we get past this uh, this tanker. <laughs> Irving's right there. Oh, yeah, there. there. oh it's a oh oh. Oh, it's interesting. It's like an outdoor order place. It's like a walk up. Yeah. Uh, interesting. A new oh. place. Oh, perfect. Oh yeah, Irving's, and you can sit over there. <laughs> Irving's cool. courtyard. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll have to do that one day. Yeah, look, this is Irving's, Irving's courtyard. We're gonna go there one day. Yeah, I had to oh. make him out the door, Dad. Yeah, Samantha P. There you go, my man. Oh, two bags. Oh, we got yeah. drinks in there, right? I think something. Two bags. What's yeah. that? Can I get one of those menus too? Yeah, you want a menu? Yeah. You want a plastic bag to throw this stuff in too? That'd be great, then, yeah, actually. Yeah, thank you so much. Hey, grab a menu. You gotta go awesome. down for some food. Yeah. <laughs> You guys knew I've never seen I've never seen you guys pop up on the uh, on the app. How long have you guys been here for? We've been here for eight months since October. Oh, okay, cool. It's good, it's good. Yeah, it sounds it sounds good. And the shirt and the shirt says it's changing the pastrami game, yeah, so it's not messing around. Not messing around, man. Wow, that smells really good. Yeah, I mean, just look at look at this right here. Whoa. Yeah. That's a nice pastrami sandwich. <laughs> yeah, they're not I mean, messing pastra- around. I mean, pastrami's the first thing it says. Yeah, well, they have, they have a t-shirt. It says, changing the pastrami game like forever or something like that, the t-shirt says. We might have to get a t-shirt. Yeah, we might have <laughs> to get a t-shirt along with the pastrami. <laughs> Home of the Angry Irving. What is the Angry Irving, you ask? This person got two Angry Irvings. Hot pastrami, chopped onions, pepper... Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, peppercorns or something like that. Provolone, mayo, and you can get rid of that stuff. Horseradish, mustard... And cracked black pepper on a club. Mm. That's the angry Irving. What's the other Irving? That Ir- Ir- they, they have all the Irvings. Irving's favorite. Hot pastrami, American and secret sauce on a club. Ah, the other one's better. Yeah, it is. That's why it's the angrier. That, well, that says it's their signature sandwich. All right, we're definitely gonna be checking this place out one day. It's a little bit far. It's a little bit far for us, but you know what? Well, sometimes. You go there, you make you make an afternoon. Let's go to Angry Irving. So we'll go sit down outside. It's a nice day we'll out. Go look at the cats. And then we go look at the cats afterwards. Maybe we maybe we leave with one. Or seven. Or seven. All right, so we got Angry Irving. This, by the way, guys, this right here is what's called a takeout menu. They still make these. I know that I know the kids. They don't know about these. 
they don't know about them. Our, our, young, our young followers are like, what, yeah. what, what's that? Yes, there are menus outside the cell phones. They exist. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this one now. We'll put it in our menu, uh, our, our, our menu folder. So it's like, how many of those menus in our menu folder? Like, those places aren't even open anymore? Yeah, lots. The prices definitely aren't accurate anymore. But Samantha maybe, P. Maybe, maybe Grubhub uses that. Samantha P. knows about Irving. What are we doing for Irving? Oh, we're handing it to her. People want that contact today. They miss people. They miss people, and they want they want somebody to hand them their their sandwiches and things. So, how much did this order come to? Well, we'll see. Um, no, you can know. Oh, you mean the subtotal? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, uh, fifty nine dollars and eighty seven cents. Hmm. I think. I'm saying yeah. I'm. Okay. I'm I, I, saying I, 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 a six dollar tip. Six dollar tip. So this is going to end up being. Uh, so that'd be two dollar. That would be about a yeah. That'd be a two dollar hidden tip. So it's end up being a nine dollar twenty five cent order. What do you think? I think it's going to be a seven dollar tip. Ooh, because they're like we're reckless. getting we're getting freaking from like Irving's. We're gonna we're gonna pay up to get that crap, that good crap. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? Doing good. You introduced a new place to me. Never heard of this place before. Oh, yeah. I never had it before either. Uh, the guy said it's really, really good. Thank so you. Have a good one. You too. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm wondering <laughs> if the smell is you. You think it's me? Like, were your clothes sitting in the in the washing machine? Yeah. Like damp. Yeah. It might be you. You smell. Oh really? So you think I should just rewash my clothes? I would smell them. Because like I think I, I know I, I was because, thinking it might be me too. Because I I smell it more when you're in when you're back in the car. So um, that might be it. It might be your pants because I sniffed your your shirt when we were <laughs> when we were in Seven Eleven. It wasn't your shirt. So it might be your pants. So you think I should change? My, I should definitely change my gown. Yeah, because you're gonna be like. Do you think sniffing. I should like rewash all my clothes? Well, I would I would do like a sniff, like like we would sniff each sniff, each, sniff each item each of thing. my clothes. Yeah. That's me annoying. I want to just redo my laundry. You could do that too. That's where I wanted to fold it all, but if it smells bad, I don't want to have smelly bad for clothes. <laughs> all right, so the hidden tip. It was a hidden tip. Were we both wrong? Uh, what'd you say? Two dollars? Two dollars would have made it. Set... I said a six dollar hidden tip. I mean, a six dollar tip. A six dollar tip. And what did you, you said a seven dollar tip? Yep. And the tip ended up being six dollars. Six dollars and four cents. I'm always right. Yep, you got it. You win. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. Yeah. I win. You can be a winner at the game of life. Yes. Carvel Beth Page, two dollars fifty cents, ten dollars fifty cents. Carvel, it's on uh, Hicksville Road, forty-two. Oh, I think we know that one. Where would you like to go? Carvel Beth Page. One option is Carvel on Stewart Avenue. Hicksville Do you Road. want that one? This one. Starting route to Carvel. Okay, cool. Yep. Head great, north great order. Broadway. The order is um, ten dollars and fifty cents for two point six miles. Light, turn left. It must be like a mile away from Carvel. Yes. Yeah. That's a great order. What the heck? We're hanging out in Hicksville zone tonight, <laughs> this afternoon. Is it Hicksville or is it, uh... no, we're yeah. like. No, we're in Hicksville zone right now because I just checked and we're still out of the. Oh. Yeah. Because DoorDash gave us that order before we even got to our zone. Oh, okay. And now this is, and now this is Uber. Obviously, it's not good sense. But a Carvel that we frequented when we're doing uh, Hicksville, Hicksville zone. Mm hmm. So interesting, interesting day with us being in this area. Yes. Well, just this last hour with my smelly pants. <laughs> no, because I did. I left my laundry in there too yeah. long. And I had a feeling, and I thought about like just rewashing it. Yeah. When, whenever you think like it's been in there too long, just rewash it. Just rewash. How's it going? Picking up an Uber for Marissa. Have a good one. Great. Thank you so much. How far are we? Point seven miles. What? 0.7 miles. 0.7 miles? I'll still leave it. Are those dashers? No, these are shakes. This order is a steal. <laughs> Must be good. Ever since we took that McDonald's order, we've been moving. And we had that little low earlier when we got lunch. I'm delivering this coffee. Oh, my smelly pants. Well, you've been delivering everything with these smelly pants. Yeah. And people have been wanting to meet me out of the door. They're probably like, oh my God, this guy's pants smell. Hey, smelly pants. <laughs> Why are you delivering my food? Smelly man. Yeah, smelly pants man. Smelly pants man. Delivering all the foods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Hi. Leave that door. Do not ring doorbell. All right. Your ice cream is going to be melting, not mine. Uber seems like it's been, like, lately, I feel like Uber, in terms of a volume standpoint, 
has been the bigger of the apps lately. I'm giving a lot of terrible lot of, offers. Yeah, though. yeah. So I say, like from a volume standpoint, yeah. they seem busier. Yes. But you wait it out. Eventually, you get a solid order. Maybe more people are starting to order Uber. Maybe they're like tired of DoorDash. Unfortunately, we weren't able to hit our goal of $99.99 as we finished with a total of $86.85. We worked a total of four hours, making our dollar per hour $21.71. Very shocking for a Saturday afternoon. We drove a total of 40 miles, making our dollar per mile $2.17. Till next time, I'm Lou, she's Mary, and we're the Long Island Dash Experience. See ya!